the family of 39-year-old Stephen Perkins, who was killed, as we said, in last week's officer-involved shooting, uh, continued to plead with law enforcement to release the body camera video of what happened. That shooting has many questioning Alabama's new body camera law. News 19's Carmen Fuentes is joining us now with more from lawmakers who sponsored the legislation and those who say it doesn't go far enough. Carmen. Well, Decatur police have said that they will not be releasing the body camera video while the Alabama law enforcement agency investigates the incident. And under the new law that went into effect this past September, they don't have to show it. Now, despite sponsoring the bill, Representative Wandelin Gavan thinks they should release that footage anyway. If they have nothing to hide, release the tape. The law allows the family and representatives of victims to make a written request to the law enforcement agency involved asking to see that footage, but the agency can deny the request if they say it would harm the investigation. Tommy Cook and Rodney Gordon with the Morgan County NAACP say the law doesn't go far enough and they believe police video should be made public immediately. If it wasn't for those uh, ring cameras, we would not know the truth. Only thing we would know is what uh, they, the, they say. the police department yeah. said. Representative Gavan says she will consider amendments to the law next legislative session, but she says they would mostly deal with protecting witnesses who might also appear in body camera video.